Hello viewers, me and team here, and welcome to Let's Play Civ 5. Continuing on, continuing on with the war with Gandhi. Let's see if he kills my knight or lets it live. I'd be quite foolish to let it live. Accuracy, secrecy to undermine how wild that is run its course. Yeah, see, I don't like the way that's looking. I, I really think she needs to be next. Because if I get caught on a two-front war with her on the other side, that's just awful. <laughs> So, he, he, let's try to avoid that kind of thing. Is this my guy with Blitz? Oh, it is. Very nice. Well, this knight was allowed to live, so I'm going to rotate him out of the trouble. And... Smack. Oh, very beautiful. And I will take a puppet. India has lost its capital. Ah, oh, such a beautiful th moment in this game. This little dogpiling backstabber, Montezuma one of the, is now no more. Gandhi, you got owned. Okay. I will take a couple more puppets. Looks like I am once again in uh, quite the uh, need for happiness. Okay, that's where Wu is. And that's where the Songhai are. Yeah. Alright, it's time to set up on Kathy. I had enough of this city spam up north. All knights are ordered. It's time to do something about this. Yeah, I'll bring the great general along. I kind of need to do that. This one can stay in Delhi. Now, working for me, at least, is the fact that this is going to be essentially a dog pile on her. Heal up. And next turn, I'll have Lancers available to me. I really need to do something about happiness, though. Like, really. When you get into a uh, negative 10 or greater, you take like a 50% penalty. <laughs> I just see all these packs ending with her, and it's just making me nervous. It's like she's just prepping war. You could just tell. Welcome to the Renaissance era. I feel welcome in the Renaissance era. <sighs> Let's discover a technology. Metallurgy. Aw, beautiful. Especially because I wasn't really trying to get great people for that, so... Eh, it's nice when things work out. Lancers. <coughs> and that's pretty much... If I upgrade my knights to that, that's pretty much the strongest uh, mounted I'm going to be able to get on my upgrade path then. So... Now it's time to take a serious look at my other options. Printing press to allow theaters is very nice. So I think that's next. The other thing I should be trying to do, especially since I'm no longer doing well with Kathy, um, have you picked up any resources I can make use of? Huh. He's going to want three for one. I'm not sure that's bad right now. I just can't sit in like massive unhappiness. Yeah, you're, you're still sucking. I guess Gandhi was beating him down. 
But now he doesn't even have any luxury resources that I can use. Trade. Incense for. Ha. Okay, just like that, we're looking okay again. Now, hopefully, these cities build some coliseums, and that takes care of that. <laughs> I like the gold increase. That's nice, especially since I'm not in Golden Age and probably never will be. Oh, no! <laughs> Genghis Khan is going to die! <laughs> but Kathy is nothing on Songhai. Oh yeah, this is still going on. I'm gonna make peace with all these city states now. Now that I'm no longer fighting with Gandhi. Because this is stupid. Every city state in the world like hates my guts, pretty much. Except for a couple. Oops. Yep. Gandhi's definitely playing for culture for a uh, UN. That's very interesting to see because you don't usually see it. Oh, and off we go for Lancers. Twenty-two strength rather than eighteen. No oh, combat penalty when on the defense. Huh. Not sure that was the best move for me. Well, I'm kind of committed to them, so I'll build them. But it looks like I'm going for uh, cavalry after all. I forgot about that with the uh, knights. Oh no, I can't even upgrade, can I? Well, okay, looks like I'm going with a mixed force in the near future. That was rather a blunder on my part. Duly noted for the future. And ouch, this is going to take quite a while to reach military science. I could go rifling for rifles. I'm not sure that's necessary though. <laughs> Looks like I can just keep spamming knights, that's fine. Bring in some lancers as well. <laughs> it's not like these knights are bad or that like half these uh, sport and anything that's too threatening for the moment. That does not mean she will not very soon. You're headed up here, right? Keep going. I really wish you could buy courthouses. Um, sure, Gandhi. I'm not really doing anything useful with Hiawatha, so if I can secure my borders against you. Now, since it looks like the Songhai are actually uh, going to have a sizable military force on my borders in the extremely near future, I'm going to want to make sure he's not going uh, too crazy on me. Oh jeez. Yeah. Pizza is awesome. What are you getting? Um, mine has to be pepperoni. Pepperoni? Um. Hmm. I guess mushroom. Half pepperoni, half mushroom. That works for me. Awesome. You know you want pizza too, viewers. You know it. I don't know why I clicked on that. Pizza is awesome. Ah, it's got to be up there in my favorite foods. It just depends on my mood. Like sometimes pizza, but sometimes you just can't go wrong with like a steak or something. Oh man, the, it was like a couple weeks ago. No, it was just like last week. We went to Outback and I was so hungry. And I, you know, I just got a 12 ounce steak. It was amazing. 
I don't know how to, you know, when, when you, when you're just that hungry, that's just so perfect. Right, uh, I was talking about Sif a moment ago, but not anymore. <laughs> Looks like when I declare on, uh, Cadia, the first thing I might want to do is help against Venice. <laughs> Venice might appreciate the help, it probably won't. Because Venice is full of douche. Is. Okay. A lot of knights here. Maybe I will bring up another great general, like the one in uh, this capital. Oh yeah, I was also going to mess with um, Songhai, see if I could get something from Askia here. Um, sure. Wow. You're going to be that much of a jerk. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to cooperate with me now. But you might want to, uh, like, pack the secrecy. Whoa! Hiawatha? No? Um... I can see Gracie. Gandhi. <laughs> no. Even though Gandhi took your cities. Alright, whatever. <laughs> <sighs> so frustrating. You have to like go through everything line item by line item. You can't just like ask for a couple or something. Oh well. Yep, there we go. Another city bites the dust for Genghis Khan. It's just not been a good game for Genghis Khan. Basically the start of that was, hey, let's all dogpile. <laughs> Mints, markets. <sighs> okay. I really don't want to break my word. Even though, seriously, large number of units on her borders, two knights? I mean, how is that fair? She has more units on my borders. She's had more units on my borders this whole time. But this is actually, uh, not too bad of a situation for me to be in. Um, apparently there was a random musket there. All right, get the great general in range. So it's time to set up some slaughter. Flank edge. Very nice. Oh, a matter moves. Well then. Let's get a little bit of killing done. Can't I upgrade this archer? Wow, I never got anything to let me upgrade the archer. I'll just shoot normal archer arrows and a musket then. <laughs> wow, that does more damage than it probably should considering it's just an archer. Uh, looks like I'm kind of SOL on moving further this turn. A little bit of a log jam, nothing serious. Okay, well I'm running out of time for this, so... I will uh, end off the video here. Hopefully I can pick off a lot of these crossbows before they turn into rifles. I will see you guys in the next part. I mean, team signing off.